Von was tragst du dich der Hitler oder Reckel wie alle? Ich weiß, das wollte euch gesagt jeder. Was ist mit Ricky Kass? <lacht> Menasha Lustig had never even been to a cinema. Die bist du noch Armen. Until he starred in a film based on his life. As an ultra-Orthodox Hasidic Jew, his community is resolutely opposed to modern entertainment and technology. Opposed too, as Menasha found to his cost, to his attempts to raise his son alone without remarrying after the death of his wife. It's almost entirely in Yiddish. It's about a community that the majority of people know absolutely nothing about. Yeah. Why do you think it's resonated, why it's struck a chord with the general public? The outside world is the fact that everybody who lives a life connected in a certain way to this film. Meaning, everybody, even my friends who watched it and told me they, they saw it, says, I'm not, divorced, I'm not divorced, but I have certain things with my son in a certain time, upbringing him. Other guy has with his uh, family or his rabbi, his uh, business, job. You know what was so crazy? The fish, 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 I don't want to put them in the corner, so it's better to apologize than ask permission. That's the best option. So I decided, let's try it. And we say then, I, I know very strong, I want to do it. If I start to ask permission of everyone, then you go out of your mind, you never get it. If you want to get something, you have to jump in. When you were filming this, there were challenges, weren't there? I mean, the, there was a certain not, amount of pressure from the community. Not, not truly, because they didn't know. We, we kept it very secretly. Because you set up with the camera? Um, yeah, they didn't know. Usually people see that something happens, like here they see an interview. But they saw that I'm walking down up the street. They get bored, like, what's the whole film about walking? They didn't get it. During the filming, did it reawaken really quite painful personal memories? Was that difficult? Not really, because my whole focus is what the director wants to do. It's not me. The first time when I see it in the big screen, then I get the anxiety and stuff. Yeah, because then I imagined I see a new story. The first time I saw it together, it was for me like very, very chilly, very chilly. And you'd never been to a cinema before you saw this no. screen? No, so I never saw it in the big screen. My experience was there that I hear people laughing and crying, but uh, in the middle of the film, I never believed that people will get it, especially it's in Yiddish. And I connect with the people then, like you, you understand what the story is. And then right away I see that people will love it all over. Die was toen we naar Naaien waren, het zei ook stel dan stiep, zit scheimachende stiep, zijn een fijne heerlijke stiep. En hier hebben we het heimke, man. Het zit niet aan dezelfde. Het zit ook niet aan dezelfde, maar het is leven brug water om gaan. Het doesn't have what you might call a Hollywood ending. It's not a happy ending. Um, it's a personal question, I know, but how are you getting along with your son now? Oh. I mean, I deal with it. He's, today he's more older and he decides, I give him the opportunity to decide when he wants to come to me. I, in fact, he's more extreme than me. <laughs> really? So I respect that, yeah. So like, he's like, responded by being ultra-Orthodox? Yeah, let's say I, I told him, maybe you want to come to see the movie. He says, no, I'm not watching movies, so I want to go back to school, you know? So I respect that. You so know? he hasn't seen it and he won't see no, it? No, no, he didn't want to see. Ich gebe euch ein Kari, ein starker so wie Alaib. Alaib? Nein, die machst du wie Aki. Ich Aki. Alaib. Would you like him to have seen it then? I like you should see it. I guess he will see it one day, maybe just this even because it's his father and he's very close with me. Close to, despite everything, to his community. 
The film has caused some tensions and he's frustrated they haven't given him opportunities to act on his own doorstep. He doesn't rule out leaving the community, but he's reluctant to leave the only friends and family he's known.